Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Morning Brew. Go ahead and grab your coffee and grab your Bible and join us as we do a little bit more of a reflection on the scripture. Uh, we are actually going to go ahead and go back to Psalm 34. Today we're going to focus um, a little bit more on that psalm in particularly my favorite verse, that one that at least stuck out to me today, which is verse 19. So I'm going to go ahead and start reading. I'm going to read verses 18 through 19. It says, The righteous cry out, the Lord hears, and he rescues them from all their afflictions. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, save, saves those whose spirit is crushed. I'll read it again. The righteous cry out, the Lord hears, and rescues them from all their afflictions. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, saves those whose spirit is crushed. In particular, verse 19 really stuck out to me today. Um, and I think it's because I think there's just a lot going on right now <laughs> well, with the whole staying at home and kind of not being able to see our families and our friends or, or even kind of what we talked about with people having weddings being postponed, graduations canceled, uh, just a lot of things are happening. Um, and I love that the Lord is reminding us that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Um, saves those whose spirit is crushed right like the lord he wants to be with you in these moments of heartbreak Very, literally the lord is close to the brokenhearted if you're experiencing any type of any type of heartbreak no matter what it may be um i think the lord's telling you today that he wants to be close to you and he wants to be in relationship with you he wants to pour out his love for you I think it's great like we hear these victorious stories over and over again in the church of these awesome people who just um, lived beautiful lives and just I don't know we're just such great examples and I think sometimes we forget that yes the Lord meets us in our victory but he also meets us in our heartbroken the Lord is saying like I want to be close to you during your like while you're experiencing a broken heart, I've not forgotten you. You're not abandoned. You're not lonely. Like I'm right here with you, right? He's telling us this. He's like, I'm ready to walk with you through this, no matter how long it takes for healing and and just for you to understand how loved you are. Uh, and what a better person to help us with our broken heart than love itself, right? Like God is love. And he has the ability to not only walk with us during our broken heart, but also help heal our broken heart. I don't know about you, but a lot of times I kind of like to feel bad for myself and I kind of just allow myself to remain uh, brokenhearted. Um, and maybe that's not the case for everyone. Maybe some of you would very much like not to be brokenhearted anymore. But there are things in my life that took me a long time to really let go of um, and not dwell on. And it really was just me having to like kind of let down my pride and say, no, I'm handing this over to the Lord. I'm handing over my broken heart to the Lord and I'm going to allow him to heal me completely and I'm going to be okay with being healed completely and that's ultimately what the Lord wants to do he wants us to have complete healing um, and, and a lot of times even our society we say like no this will always affect you this will this something tragic or something sad can have lasting impacts and, and I think that if we believe that, we're not realizing how big our Lord is and how strong our Lord is and how our Lord is able to do whatever he wants and that he is the ultimate healer, especially when it comes to our hearts. The Lord knows our hearts. He probably knows them better than we know our own heart. And, and he wants to be that ultimate lover, you know, despite your relationships with anyone else. Um, he is there for you and we need to learn how to kind of rely on that relationship rather than rely only on the relationships with family friends lo other loved ones right like those relationships are really good but if we have it kind of disordered in the sense that we put those before god then we're not really realizing that the lord should be our first love and he and he kind of is showing us that 
today, right? The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, you know? He is going to understand the hurt that you're feeling, and He wants to walk with you, and He knows how to walk with you. He knows how to heal you, and He knows how to help you um, come out of that situation. Anyway, we hope you guys have a great weekend. Make sure to join us on Sunday for Mass, and until next time, bye! Bye!